Thank you, Chairperson, Ms. Lorena Ovun, Assistant Professor, Department of Economics, Denso College, for the time. Once again, respected our Chairperson, today's, our Chairpersons of today's program, Principal of Denso College, Dr. Hewasa L. King, our uh, uh, Mrs. Kontelesek, President, Dimapu Women's uh, Baptist Women's Union, and also our resource person, my member, Mrs. Akokla Longjar, my sisters, and the invitees, and uh, the representatives from civil NGOs, churches, institute from Timapur and Jumu Kedima, and the students from Detsa College, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. At the outset, First of all, I would like to thank our Almighty God for blessing us and giving us this very wonderful and blessed moment to talk, to discuss on a very important uh, rampant topic these days, on that is harnessing AI opportunities for women. Before going deeper into the program, I would like to say one thing with two permission from the government, uh, college authority and the principal. At Time ago, once, like uh, we had one legal evidence program in Kohima, and the participants were civil NGOs and the churches, you know, and like uh, during our interaction session, one of the participants from one uh, NGO, she stood up and said that, Seminar Wagina Utegina English Prakoid, Hegirido Church Pra, Ahahan, NGO de Kambra, Ahan, Buri Amahan, Magian Mahan Brado. English She said that. So like uh, with due permission from the college authority, I'll be, I will try to speak in Nagamese also, please uh, forgive me for, you know, missing up the Nagamese and English here in the, uh, in this very beautiful, blessed platform. And also, I would like to thank National Commission for Women like uh, as the entity of National Commission for Women, we the Nagaland State Women Commission, we are so delighted and so happy to take this very opportunity to speak to our women, young and old who are present here today, and as well who are not present here today. The National Commission for Women has opened a door for everyone, for the college, for the institute, and even for the Women Commission, you know, to take up this topic they given us, they open up our windows with different topics. So when we were going through different topics and these uh, topics was one of the topics which triggered me and I was wondering how to think about, how to go about, how to conduct this program. But you know, like uh, the State so College, they took up this and the National Commission has approved to organize this seminar. And so I also would like to render my Gratitude to the National Commission for Women for accepting the proposal from the Exo College and giving this platform. Everyone knows article, uh, artificial intelligence. In brief, I would like to uh, define what is artificial intelligence. It's a term used to describe the advancements of computers via the improvement of their own intellect and expansions of the ability to do human-like tasks. In simple terms, we can say AI can be, you know, it's a set of technologies that machines' ability to perform the cognitive functions associated with the human minds, such as perceiving, reasoning, learning, interacting with the environment, problem solving, and even exercising creativity. Some may be not knowing what is AI or artificial intelligence. Even me in the beginning, you know, when people were talking about AI, AI, I don't know the abbreviation, I don't know what is AI, even I was confused. Some of you might be confused, some of you might be saying, what is this AI? Just last evening, I spoke with one of the NGO representatives, I invited her, I sent the, you know, these, um, materials and I told her like if you have time come and attend this program you know when I said that she called me up Madam you do AI do key say what can this AI do? Nah? So this is something uh, actually not new also but it's very new for our rural areas like uh, Nagaland for our people actually it's new as well 
and even for me it was very new so you know uh, these uh, AI are usually you know today it's usually used to automate tasks provide personalized recommendations enhance communications and improve decision making so generally in a very generic term everyone is using AI everyone is not aware we all are not aware but indeed we all are likely using AI artificial intelligence in which way how we are using examples we have mobile phones actually in reasons mobile uh, phones are not artificial intelligence it's not art, uh, AI themselves but they do have these uh, AI features so in our day-to-day -day life activities in the kitchen in our own uh, you know like in the colleges the students the women's the men the young and all we all are using this AI because this phone has this AI features what are the AI features uh, these features includes voice assistance camera enhancements predictive text personalized recommendations etc and like how to uh, we know that our phone have this AI if your if our smartphone is relatively new and updated with the latest operating system that means you and I we are using AI powered tools without even knowing it and all of these are visual assistants for example like Siri now, Google assistants that we usually find in our phone that all are uh, mini AI that's called mini AI so as we all know when we go deeper into uh, harnessing of this uh, artificial intelligence as we all know the global industrializations industrializations primary effort to give our women an equal opportunity to support themselves to support ourselves financially and to strengthen through means of many related promotions and the United Nations also has created the Millennium Development Goals, uh, which we use it a uh, term it as MDG3, including the Sustainable Development Goals SDG5. Uh, both of which this SDG5 includes achieving equal rights for all women and the empowerment of women. So, as we talk on harnessing AI opportunities for women. We all have seen that technology evolution is not going to stop anytime soon. Let's think back to the uh, days before the internet and how prevalent it is now. If we look back, we were not aware that AI will reach to us this soon, this fast. It's not that forward thinking to imagine that AI based technologies will soon be an everyday work tool similar to going online these days, but revolutionary at the time AI has taken place and has come to our doorstep. As our principal in her uh, address, she has already mentioned the contributions of the women. And if we look into today's world, we see that women plays a vital role in all round development. The contribution of the women towards the society in different fields is unimaginable. We also see how the community management role played by rural women helps ensure the dissemination of information and extension at the community level. If we look into uh, agricultural sector, for example, if we go back into our rural areas, if we look into our agricultural sector, we see most later labor intensive manual operations in agriculture, such as cattle management, fodder or collections, uh, like uh, winnowing, etc., are performed by women. And this in agricultural sector, AI evolution has delivered extensive development and the uh, next higher level of evolu evolution by offering precision farming techniques, enhancing group monitoring, 
protecting yields and optimizing uses and aids in livestock health management and automate stinted ears tax like weeding and harvesting. This is a very common, you know, when we talk about agriculture, when we go to agricultural sector, we see that women are more, uh, you know, uh, we see more women in this agricultural sector. So this AI has uh, revolutionized and you know lots of evolution has taken place in the agricultural and farming sector as well as I've already said earlier there are many still I'm sure even in this hall there are many uh, like questions in your mind that how can this artificial intelligence how can this AI help women how can AI be used for women's safety how can this AI benefit women. How can this uh, AI empower women? I'm sure everyone will be having uh, that questions and that doubt. So, like, uh, let me uh, share a little bit of that also. When it comes to women's safety and security, harnessing the true capabilities of artificial intelligence for women's safety all around the world can be of ultimate success and importance. An AI and machine learning powered women's safety can apt can definitely help prevent sexual harassment, violence, and molestation in our community, as the ability to gather, identify, and comprehend patterns is possessed by artificial intelligence. Just recently, uh, like in the month of October, Nagaland State Commission for Women, we, has, uh, we have organized two days workshop and six days eco-tourism, eco-friendly training for six days for the uh, young entrepreneur. You know, how did we uh, happen to, uh, like we collaborate with the 12 departments and that is purely to do with the women. The participants were women and even the resource person and speakers were women. And that topic covers eco, a sustainability ecosystem. So like, you know, when we talk about AI, AI it also uh, covers the sustainability ecosystems and, uh, you know, building resilience of the, you know, women. So like, uh, we have just uh, done with that workshop. So like, in that section, you know, like, uh, in uh, big entrepreneurs, be it, uh, a business, be it a large scale or you know like a low scale business this ai helps promotes and like uh, empower women so like uh, also you know uh, what how can it be benefited how can ai benefit women women should be benefited from the uh, economic opportunities that's what i uh, you know i consider that uh, ai when ai uh, offers uh, a benefit in which way women can be benefit if we uh, consider that it should be from the economic background, economic opportunities. Policy makers and the public must be aware of AI's role in shaping attitudes and resist its potential to perpetuate misogyny and racism. We should leverage AI to create a moral, equal economy, reversing deep-rooted inequalities. And the potential of artificial intelligence should create new opportunities in empowering women in various aspects of life, particularly in management and work-life balance. AI offers a plethora of opportunities to support women's empowerment, and AI can contribute to the advancement. If we look into uh, today's context, we also see that not we also, but we are seeing that AI has opened up a world of opportunities for we women in various aspects of life, providing uh, with tools and resources to overcome barriers and achieve our full potential, our life full potential. The flexible and affordable learning opportunities offered by AI can equip women with the necessary skills and knowledge to excel in the careers and take up leadership roles and also in the healthcare sector. If you look into healthcare sector, AI 
Trivial solutions can bridge the gap in increasing and assessing quality healthcare, especially for women in remote or undeserved regions, leading to early detections and timely treatment of health issues. AI's ability to identify trends in workplace uh, gender inequality and wage dis disparities towards work in women. This is very important. I uh, take this very, you know, like uh, AI in the workplace. It will be, uh, it is one of the most topic which I'm looking forward, uh, like, you know, which can harness the women in the uh, private or government sector, you know, uh, uh, women as well. And in your college and in your institute as well, these AI uh, abilities, uh, you know, train in workplace to harness gender equality and wage disparities for the uh, employees and the employers. And also, uh, you know, um, with this aid of AI-powered um, personal assistance, uh, women can effectively manage their daily responsibilities, be it at home, be it in the college, be it in the outside, be it in the uh, office. If uh, is there any uh, AI-powered or who are very good in this AI, you know, using this technology, you uh, like through them we can uh, you know like uh, effectively manage our daily life activities we can take help from them and those who are very much uh, into this AI if you are powered AI assistant then you help the people to you know like manage their life in a very easy way moreover like when we talk about safety and security AI security and surveillance system can enhance workplace and uh, workplace and public safety, contributing to a safer environment for women to commute, work, and interact both at the workplace and in public spaces, ensuring the safety during commuting and interactions. AI also play a vital, pivotal role in advocating for women's rights and gender equality fostering social change and supporting women during crisis and humanitarian situations. Furthermore, AI can act as a catalyst for positive changes by leveraging AI's capabilities while prioritizing developing an equality of women and create more inclusive and empowerment, empowering environment for women in management and beyond. Everything, you know, like a coin also has a two side, you know, two faces. Likewise, everything has a risk and there's an advantage and disadvantage as well. So, uh, like overall, AI has the potential to bring significant benefits in our life. But it is also important to carefully consider the risk and potential unintended consequences of its development and deployment. It is essential to approach AI deployment with a gender-sensitive lens, prioritizing ethical considerations and ensuring that AI solutions do not perpetuate biases or discrimination. As we move forward, it is crucial for policymakers, organizations, and AI developers to collaborate in shaping AI technologies that genuinely empower women and contribute to a more inclusive and equitable society. By harnessing the power of AI while prioritizing the well-being and equality of women, we can create a brighter future where women are empowered to lead, innovate, and thrive in management and peer. Lastly, I hope this seminar opens avenues for further exploration and implementations of AI tribal initiatives to enhance women's empowerment in management, paving the way for continued advancements in gender equality and work-life balance. So like this is a short, you know, like kind of uh, definition on AI, how to harness the opportunity for, for the women. Uh, like uh, in the second session, I'm sure our uh, resource person will uh, share and speak in a more detailed and brief way Looking forward for that. Thank you so much. God bless us all.